<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't need to have it, you know, yeah. They understand who you are as a person once the mullet comes out. Yeah. And, but, uh, by the way, when you said you said someone was wearing a, a shirt of yours at, at the store that was near you, I thought I thought the story was going to end with like them following you home or so or something. something no, crazy. I don't ever tell them that I'm <laughs> that it's <laughs> like me. <laughs> I don't have that face value type deal, so I can luckily just do that. My mom, though, that stupid bitch, she sits there and she'll be like, <laughs> she has like a meat cane sticker on her phone, and there'll be people that come up like, "Oh, you like meat canyon?" She's like, "Oh yeah, it's my son." I'm like, "Why don't you just have a sign that says I want to get gang raped?" Like, why don't you like just make a sign that's just like I want to be murdered? Please follow me home, type deal. She's like, I don't think that happened. I'm like, that's that's the kind of mentality that old people have. That that never happens. It's like that's what happened with the Zodiac Killer, and then here we are. <laughs> the meat canyon yeah. killer. <laughs> yeah, the meat, the meat canyon killer. Wait, hold on. That has a really good ring to it, Snackers. Why? Oh my God. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> The Meat Canyon <laughs> Killer. Oh. Let's not let's let's see, not let's, not, let's, not pro- let's not propagate that any further. No. Do you get weird emails? Like, do you get weird emails, Meat Canyon? Do you get yeah, weird I get emails? a lot of hate emails. I get a lot of uh, people people telling me. There was like one person because when I lived in Kansas City, there was a guy who told me that he knew that he saw me at a store or something like that, and he's like, "I didn't trail you home, but I kind of know where you live." I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, all right, dude. I was like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Why? That is just a weird statement. What did he? What did he? That was it. That was the end of the conversation. Yeah. Well, that was the email. I was like, I don't. And he just said, I don't. You know, I don't know exactly where you live, but I kind of know where you live. And then it was like the end of the email. And I'm like, that feels like a threat. I, I feel like I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information. Type deal. <laughs> What do I do? Do I move? Do I uh? Do I, what do, I got I got like twenty animals in this house. I can't just move them at once. What is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I need to have a trailer or some shit. Bring them all in. <laughs> Damn. Um. Yeah. I guess. Uh. I guess that's it. Let's close the old the old Wrap chapter up, on the Meat Canyon. Uh, we can see some live action from him in the future. It's almost like uh doing all these parodies kind of makes him want to put out a bunch of original shit now because I guess. I guess like any good animator, um, you do well. I guess you always do what you want, but at some point, when you when you have to cater to a certain audience, you want to do your own shit. Eventually, I mean, you can't just be professional all the time and just on a schedule. You kind of want to do your own shit. Yeah, I think that. Uh, I think that like yeah. also the parodies are just a good way. I like that just helped me build my audience. You know, so now I'm in a position to where I can uh, branch out and do some new shit and everything yeah so absolutely it's, it's, it's always a it's always a fun time but yeah definitely the parodies help build the audience and then you don't have to worry about being meat canyon's fan because his mom is super supportive of him and there's no way you'll replace her um, <laughs> feel free to not even be a fan at all my mom has it covered i don't need you <laughs> coming in trying to support or watch anything i'm doing you can just go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and skip that mom's got it taken care of <laughs> um what else we got here uh if you uh if you're with the woman of the night make sure you wrap it and check your credentials check the credentials, okay? check there your credentials. You be sure to do that thank you nice <laughs> thank little you tiger thank you <laughs> a little tiger tail in the in the night no one no one knows what to do but me canyon's dead he, he's there for you all right uh <laughs> stackers <laughs> thank you for being a co-host no problem, Corey. Dude. thank you for uh joining in um yeah. And me, Canyon, thank you for spending the time with this little motley crew we got going on no, over man, here. No, man, I fucking, hey, I appreciate you wanting to reach out and talk to me. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, um, if you ever want to, if you ever want to recap anime. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I want to hear more of that. That was the funniest shit I ever fucking, fucking heard. So you, you, have, you definitely have a place for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I'm... Uh, I can't wait to see what else you come out with in the future, and then maybe we'll have you on again in like a year and a half when you have your own studio. Well, I mean, you already have your own studio. When everything that you've wanted comes to fruition and you can support other animations like you're looking forward to. Yeah, yeah absolutely, man. Don't make a stranger hit me up whenever. Hell yeah. All right, me, Kane. Enjoy your married life. Enjoy your fat belly. This is the New Grounds Podcast, <laughs> and we're signing off. See you guys later. Good night, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>